Hey my glam girls, welcome back to my channel. It's Chelsea where we talk about all things glam and all things girly. I'm a beauty enthusiast and consultant who loves to talk about everything dealing with beauty and makeup and today, whew, we have all three Ambient Lighting Unlocked Palettes by Hourglass. I could not resist, I had to get all three because I really wanted to know which palette would be best for my complexion, lighter complexions, deeper complexions. So we will be answering all of those questions in this video. I will of course be demoing all three palettes on my face. So stay tuned for all of that. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I truly do appreciate it. And let's get right into this video. So let's just jump right on into it. So each one of these palettes is going to retail for $85. As of right now, you can purchase them from Hourglass's website. What's very interesting is that you can actually choose the decoration or the decor that you want to have on your palette. And then you can also choose the actual color story on the inside. So I like to keep things the way the brand intended it to be or the way the brand showed it to be. So I just kept the decor with the color story palette that I originally saw them paired with. So here we have the Tigers palette right here. And this one is just beautiful. When I saw this one, I was like, okay okay and then we have the elephant palette which looks like so and this one is so pretty as well all of them look in my opinion so much more pretty in person than they do in pictures and they look stunning in pictures and then lastly we have the butterfly palette so Hourglass says that we are introducing three limited edition ambient lighting edit unlocked palettes for holiday 2022. They are featuring artwork by world-renowned illustrator Katie Scott, including their best-selling and brand new shades of blush, bronzer, highlighter, and finishing powder for a glowing complexion. And 5% of the profits from these unlocked palettes will support the non-human rights project in their efforts to secure fundamental rights for animals. So, to reduce their use of virgin plastic, the packaging is consciously crafted from 100% tin. So, starting with the Hiker palette, because that was the one that I felt like, okay, this one just from the pictures looks like it's going to be formulated for deeper complexions. So it says that for this one, it is a six pan palette including the ambient lighting powder and transcendent light and ambient lighting blush and iridescent rose, along with four new shades of blush and highlighter to diffuse, enhance, and add glow to the complexion. So this is going to be one of the new blushes. This is called Burnished Glow and I'll swatch as I talk about them. So Burnished Glow is described as a warm coral. This is another new blush. It's called the Iridescent Rose Blush, and this is described as a warm medium rose shade. This shade right here is one of their Ambient Metallic Strobe Lighting Powders. It's a new shade, and this is called Brilliant Glow Strobe Light and this shade is described as a translucent peach highlighter and hopefully y'all can see that this shade right here is also new this is called their metallic strobe lighting powder and this is the divine strobe light and this is described as a true gold this is also a new shade this is called the metallic strobe lighting powder it's copper flash strobe light and this is described as a copper shine. And then lastly, we have this shade right here. This is the Ambient Lighting Powder Shade in Transcendent Light. And this is described as a warm sienna. So here are all the shades in the Tigers palette. And I think these are beautiful. I'm sure you've already seen the B-roll of application to my face. And just to let you know, I was applying the shades on my face. I was not trying to blend them too much because I really wanted you to see the pigmentation of the shades. And knowing that, you know, I would normally blend those shades a little bit better. Um, so for what I did was I took 
um, Transcendent Light, the Warm Sienna shade, which is right here. This one is described as a ambient lighting powder that you could potentially diffuse across the face, but I chose to use it as a bronzer. I do think it showed up pretty okay as a bronze shade, but I do think it would work better as like a blush bronzer on me, not solely just to use as a bronzer shade. But this shade would also definitely look very well on a deeper richer complexion. And then oh, my favorite shade in this palette is going to have to be this blush shade called Burnished Glow. It is so stunning. Now it is definitely not a highlight on me at all. I could wear this though as a blush and that's how I intend to wear the shade. I think it is so rich, it's so pigmented, and it's so pretty. This shade could also be used on the eyes if you wanted to have like a monochromatic look and it's just beautiful. Like I said, by far my favorite shade in the palette. And then in terms of this um, blush shade here, I really did enjoy this blush shade here. This was the Warm Medium Rose shade. I also enjoyed this strobe shade right here. This was the Copper Shine strobe shade, this one right here. This, the Copper Shine strobe shade, just showing it on my arm, I can't use this as a strobing highlighter shade. It is too deep for my complexion, but I would definitely use it as a blush shade for me. So I can get it, I can use it as a blush shade. I think both of the highlighters looked really beautiful against my complexion. And I do feel like these highlighters will also well, work well for deeper complexions. I like the tones that they have in them. There's a nice true gold, and then you have kind of an iridescent pinkish type of gold shade, but it's not like an icy pink type of shade. And so I would most definitely say that this Tiger's Eye palette is the deeper palette of the three. And if you have a deep, rich complexion, but also if you have about a tan to tan deep complexion, this one will probably be the palette that will look best on your skin in terms of if you're just looking to purchase one. Next, getting into the Unlocked Elephant palette. So it says that this is going to include their two best-selling finishing powders along with four brand new shades of bronzer, blush, and highlighter. Of course, to diffuse, enhance, and add glow to the complexion. So we're going to start with this shade here. This is their Ambient Metallic Strobe Lighting shade. It is a new shade. And this is their Beaming Strobe Light. And this is described as having a golden sun type of shade. Next, we have this shade right here, which is a new shade. This is their Ambient Bronzing Powder. And this is their Lustrous Bronze Light shade. And this is described as Bronze Heat. We have a new blush shade called Iridescent Coral. And this shade is a peony shade. The second new blush, this is the Radiant Rose shade, and this is described as a berry shade. And then we have one of their best-selling shades, their Dim Light shade, and this is described as a neutral beige shade. And then lastly, the Soft Light shade, and this is described as a pale peach. So here are all the shades in the Elephant palette. And this palette was actually quite shocking to me because looking at it, I was like, this might, like, it might be the lightest palette, but I think it should show up in, you know, some sort of capacity. And this is most definitely the lightest palette of the three. So I would say if you have anywhere from a fair to, I would say, medium complexion, this palette most definitely could work for you. I was shocked that these blush shades were not as pigmented as I thought they would be, um, especially this berry shade. I thought it would have shown up a little bit more pigmented on my skin, and you can build up the shade, so I did add a little bit more of both of the blush shades after I swatched them, just so you could see them more. And you can build them up, but even still, being built up, they do look quite light on my skin. 
and I don't know, I just thought the berry shade would just have a little bit more richness to it. These two finishing powders, I've definitely used them before. And when you saw the demonstration, all I had on my face was just um, a foundation powder. So I used the Chanel um, Ultra Latent foundation powder on my face, but I had no concealer on. So I believe I went in with the Pale Peach shade. I think it was this shade that I went in with under my eyes. I can't remember now. <laughs> you all saw the, the B-roll. Um, and I know normally, I don't really see much of a difference of those powders when I apply them to the skin, but I normally see the difference when I'm stepping into lights, when I'm at work and I'm under kind of that weird looking lighting. Um, that's when I see like the like ethereal glow. So if you've ever wondered like what's the purpose of these powders, I put them on, I really don't notice a difference. You can definitely see a difference when you're in, I would say, artificial light the most because sometimes artificial light can make you look quite scary, especially if it's kind of like that greeny tinted artificial light. But these powders definitely do help to soften the look of that on your face. So your face actually still has a really beautiful ethereal glow. So I do like these powders especially when I know I'm gonna be in like, you know, maybe unique type of lighting and I still wanna look my best no matter what lighting I'm in. Um, this bronzer shade, you know, I looked at it. I knew it was not gonna show up, but I wanted to, you know, to try to put it on so that you all could see what it looked like. I would definitely say that this could be a bronzer topper if you are around my shade. So. When I looked at my skin up close, I definitely saw a nice sheen to the skin where I had applied the bronzer. So it really doesn't show up on me as a bronzer, but if I wore a matte bronzer and I wanted a bit of like glow to my bronzer, but nothing too dewy, nothing too harsh, nothing that's gonna look like almost like a highlighter, but just like once again, that ethereal glow, then this bronzer shade will work nicely for that. And then this highlighter shade, I really did enjoy. I do like the tone of this highlighter against my complexion. I think it looks really, really beautiful. And um, yeah, I would say for me, you know, I would say, of course, if you have a deeper, richer complexion, this is not the palette for you. I would even say if you have a good tan to deeper, richer complexion, this palette is not really gonna be the best for you. When I was looking at the footage after I applied this on my face, I was just like, I don't really see anything. Okay, I thought I'd get a little bit more from this palette. And I was mostly thinking I would get more from the blush shades. I knew from the bronzer I wouldn't. Um, I knew these two powders, I wouldn't see too much of a difference on my face, just like, you know, looking at my face head on. And I figured the highlighter would, look, would be beautiful. So I guess I knew that this palette wouldn't show up the most, but I was expecting to get a little bit more pigmentation from these blushes. So, like I said, this is the lightest of the three. So the palette that would fall in the middle, it's actually the palette that I'm wearing on my face, is going to be the Butterfly Palette. So here's the Butterfly Palette, and it says that this is a six pan palette that includes three of their best-selling shades, two finishing powders, and one highlighter, along with three brand new shades of blush and highlighter. This is the first new blush shade. It's called Soft Flush. And this is described as a deep mauve shade. And I added a little bit more to it because um, that first swatch was a little weak. <laughs> then we have the other blush shade right here, which is called Sunset Glow. This is described as a terracotta shade. And then the third new shade is right here. It's called their Celestial Strobe Lighting Shade. And this is a golden champagne which by the way, this shade did not come to play. I definitely applied too much <laughs> when I initially applied it to the skin, but it is so pretty, so pretty. Okay, then we'll get into some of their best-selling shades. So we have the Ethereal Light shade. This is the Ethereal Light shade. This is a cool translucent shade. Next, we have Diffused Light. This is a warm pale yellow. And then lastly, we have the strobe lighting right here. And this is their incandescent light shade. And this is an opalescent pearl shade. 
So here is the butterfly palette. And like I had mentioned earlier, this palette falls kind of right in the middle. So if you have around medium tan skin, but I would also say even if you have fair to light to about tan, you can wear this palette. So the blush shades show up really beautifully. And you can see that here, I did add a couple of layers to the blush shades so that they could show up a little bit more pigmentedly, but you can tell that they do show up really beautifully on the skin. This highlighter shade is stunning. Now I will say that it is a bit, it's a bit icy. So I, even with putting it on my skin, I remember applying it and being like, eesh. Is this gonna look too stark on my skin? I of course did blend in the product, so I did initially apply it here. I do think it blended in really well, but if you did have a deeper, richer complexion, I do feel like this shade would show up a bit icy, depending on your undertone and all of that. Then we get into the two diffusing powders. And depending on how you like these diffusing powders, if you plan on using them, this could be a benefit or it could, if I could say, be a waste of space, depending on if you like to use them or not. And then lastly, we have this strobing light um, or this highlighter here. And I did feel this was quite kind of icy on my skin. I mean, once again, blended in the powders and I feel like we made it work. But when I first put it on my skin, I was just kind of like, okay, this is a bit light. This is, you know, <laughs> depending on what look I'm going for, I could make it work, but it's not gonna be a highlighter shade that I'm gonna reach for. So although this is the palette that would fall kind of in the middle, for, you know, out of the three, I would not say this is like potentially maybe your go-to palette if you have medium skin tones. Um, simply because depending on your undertone and then depending on the shades that you like, you really might be only able to get use out of these three shades here. Um, and then, like I said, depending on your undertone, your complexion, how you like your highlighters to be, you may or may not enjoy this, not because of formulation. The formulation is so smooth and like there's no texture or anything. Even though they call it a strobing light, there's no texture. But if you like something that's a bit warmer, then you may not enjoy this highlighter as much. Um, and then that might leave you with just these two blush shades. I would also say that I wish that these blush shades were more different. Um, you can definitely see the differences in the blush shades when you're looking at them swatched on the arm. But if you put them on the face, like I'm wearing, you know, the two different blush shades on my cheeks now, and I don't think you see too much of a difference. Um, I would definitely say that this shade right here is a bit deeper than this shade is, but looking at them on both sides of my cheek, I really don't think you see too much of a difference. So I would have liked if maybe they had, I don't know, a deeper berry almost plum type shade and then if they wanted to make this more terracotta like make it more um redder so there is a differentiation between the two and you know it would actually be more noticeable on the skin um in terms of this palette working for complexions that are tan and deeper I don't think this is gonna be the palette as well for you. So I'm looking at my skin. I think my skin looks nice and polished and I think it looks quite radiant. You've got that ethereal look, but in terms of just color on my complexion, I don't think we see much of that when it's coming to the blushes and the highlighters. I did use bronzer because this palette didn't have bronzer in it and I used the um, ambient lighting palette in volume three, I've been reaching for this one like for the past couple weeks and falling in love with it again. This is, this palette is everything. So I basically just ran my brush through these two shades and I like to use these two shades as bronzer. So that's what I used for my bronzer today. And then for my complexion, the new Hourglass Ambient Lighting Foundation and I mixed it with the universal shade of the Balm Powder. 
And then for concealer, the new Milk Makeup Concealer. So on the Hourglass Foundation, sorry guys, I have shade 12. Yes, shade 12. And then the Milk Makeup Concealer, shade 14N. And I set my under eyes and T-zones with the Kosas Cloud Set Powder in the shade Comfy. So that's what's on my complexion. And like I said, I think I'm looking at my face from afar. I think my complexion looks nice, like there's a nice ethereal glow, but there's really no like major signs of blush on my face. Um, we can do, we can definitely see the highlighter. So like, like I said, I don't think this is going to be like the go-to palette for our medium complected individuals. I still feel like this palette is airing more on the side of complexions that are more light, fair to light to medium. And like I said, depending on what you like, this could work for you, but it may not give you everything that you need. So looking at all three of these palettes, because I could not get my hands on them fast enough. And I was so excited to get them. I was just like, oh, they look so pretty. I have high expectations. And now after playing with them, I would say the hype has died down, you know, because I've realized that there's really only one palette that I could use as like a one and done palette to give me, if I could say a full face, the shades show up nice and pigmented. I can work with it. And I would definitely say it has to be the Tiger palette. This is my favorite out of all three for those reasons. I can use this palette as a one and done look. So if I only wanted to get one, this would be the palette that I would get. And for me, I can use this shade as a blush. I would use this shade, this shade here as like a blush topper or just a blush by itself. I can use both of these shades as highlighters and I really like them against my skin. And I could use this shade as a bronzer if I wanted to as well. Or I could kind of mix both of these shades as like a bronzer highlighter if I wanted to. And this, oh, this orange coral shade is just everything. And like I mentioned earlier, I would use this as a blush. Maybe mixing these two together to get just like that ever so to get even more of like a bronzy look on the cheek. But this palette I think would work best for my complexion and best for complexions that are in that tan to deep complexion range. Now, if you have a medium skin tone, and I would say even maybe if you have a lighter skin tone, depending on how you want to use this palette, you still very much could enjoy this because some of these shades you could definitely use as blush shades. And then for the shades that are too deep for your actual complexion, throw them on the eyes. So if you wanted this palette, I don't think you're gonna waste your money because you can definitely um, still get use out of them. You may not be able to use them all on your face, but you can most definitely use them on your eyes and you know, have a full face palette right here. I think this shade right here would work really nicely for a nice range of complexion. So starting from like the light complexion to about my complexion, because it is quite neutral. It's not too warm. It's not too cool tone. Um, if you have a deeper, richer complexion, I don't think this would show up as a bronzer, but you could use it as a nice blush as well. So I would say that if I had to kind of rank these palettes based on how I like them, Tiger would be number one, obviously. I would say Elephant would be number two, even though, even though Elephant didn't show up the best on my skin, but I do like the tones of this palette. Like I said, I wish these were more pigmented, but I could build these up or I could just use these as blush toppers. I do enjoy this highlighter shade. And like I said, I could use this as a bronzer topper. The Butterfly palette is my least favorite because I just feel like I can't do too much with it. Like if I were to reach for this palette, it would only be for three shades and it would be these three shades right here. But for this particular shade, which is still on my arm right here and it's right there, this is not a highlighter shade that I would wear every day because it is a little more cool on my skin tone or my complexion. So I would only be reaching for this particular shade if I wanted to wear it as a highlighter for a specific look. 
And then for these blush shades, they're beautiful. They're very pigmented. But once again, it's just, these are not shades that I'm gonna reach for like time and time again. These shades are beautiful. I see great purpose in them and I know why they put them in all of their palettes. But if you've got one hourglass palette, especially like the older ones, then you have these shades over and over again. And so in terms of the shades that I like um, from their like diffused powders, these are not the shades that I go for. The shades that I go for when I do wanna use their diffused powders are going to be more of these shades right here. So that's why I'm putting this one at number two because although the tones are lighter, these are tones that I can definitely work with better for my skin and what I like in my skin, I'll say that, than the Butterfly palette. Depending on what you might like though, and depending on, like I said, your undertones, then that would determine, I think, how you would, you know, like Elephant compared to the Butterfly one. Um, I did think the Butterfly one would be like the go-to palette for medium complexions, but I, th I think it really just depends on your preferences because like I said, I could see this one going for lighter complexions as well as medium complexions. So I hope that this answered all your questions. And if you do want me to do a comparison video of these palettes compared to other Hourglass palettes that I have, let me know in the comment section below. I will most definitely do that. I do think that these palettes are beautiful. I'm so excited that Hourglass is moving in the right direction and creating these ambient lighting unlocked palettes for their holiday collection with various shades in them. I like the new shades that they have. And I'm hoping that they will continue this in the future because they could give us more in the sense that we could get four next year. And like, because their powders are just so beautiful, they could do so much more with them. So I'm hoping this is like a first step in the right direction and that we're continue to be blown away because when Hourglass does do it right, they do it right. So I do give all of these palettes two thumbs up. I think the formulation is beautiful. And I would say depending on what you're looking for in terms of color scheme would determine which palette or which palette will work well for you. I do think the palettes are beautiful. Formulation is amazing. I had no doubt about that. I really wanted to see how these palettes worked on my skin tone so that you all could have a good reference as to which of these palettes will work best for you. So leave me a comment down below letting me know which palette you liked which palette you're interested in picking up. Do you like any of them? Do any of them make you go, yes? Do any of them make you go, oh? Leave all that down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your comments and your feedback. And if you've made it to this point in the video and you have yet to subscribe to my channel, I would love for you to consider subscribing and joining the Glam Girl Squad. And guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope to see you in my very next video. Bye guys.